Morning, gang. Happy Saturday. <laughs> you know, today I woke up this morning, and I have to say, in spite of it, with, my heart was just full of praise, especially even with everything that happened yesterday. Uh, Ricky's feeling a lot better. Uh, he's still in in pain. Uh, I think that, that the pain from this car accident is gonna it's it's always gonna be there. But um, he's feeling a lot better. Uh, he was prescribed some medication uh, for the vertigo, and he takes it as needed. But also, most of all, uh, I just praise God for patient first. I highly recommend the place. They're really awesome. Uh, they really care that you get seen like that, and uh, they take all kinds of insurance coverage, which is really great. The only one they don't take is United Healthcare. So please don't ever get United Healthcare. But we had a, you know, quite a few interesting little blessings yesterday. Uh, I mean, there was a blessing in the midst of this, but uh, something I didn't get to share about yesterday and meant to, uh, I had, I'm wondering if any of you, I'm sure people have probably by now heard about PayPal. It's an online way of being able to save and, and make money. Uh, like eBay uses it when you sell things on eBay. Or you can send money to different people. It's like a little time, you know, virtual bank account, but it's real money. And I got an email yesterday. It went in my spam folder that told me uh, that uh, there had been a settlement that took place between, uh, who was it now? Please don't mind me. But it was a settlement between PayPal and some others. Um, it was a very interesting... Apparently, there was some legal action taken. I had no idea about this. Uh, I get this thing. It says, important information regarding your account. And I'm very skeptical of it. And I'm sure you would be if you get really weird emails. But they basically emailed me to let me know that there was a legal settlement between PayPal and the Consumer Financial Protection Bureau, which is a federal government agency that enforces laws to help protect consumers. Well, what, baby? What, what, what? Here's my baby. Say good morning. Morning, everybody. Yes, it's my little doll baby. And she's acting like a rammy little kitty this morning. Well, they wanted to let me know that under this settlement, I was entitled to a refund of $110.87 related to my PayPal credit account. And I was kind of like, what? So they credited this amount as of the 23rd, plus an additional $1.50, you know, if I decided to take it out via check or whatever. I was really questioning this. Because, you know, when you get these type of things, they're a scam. First thing I did was uh, I checked, I, I went on to PayPal itself and I checked it. I, I was going to contact them and let them, you know, uh, let them know. I got this email. I felt it was suspicious. Well, lo and behold, I go into my email people and I find this 11087 or, or what more so in my account. And my account was a, a grand total of almost 120 bucks because I still had a little bit of money in there. So talk about a big, huge blessing, huh? And I confirmed it with PayPal that this email was legit. And I was really, really a happy camper on it, I'll tell you, because I wasn't anticipating it. Yeah, there goes Goofy again. The little, the little gray ninja kitty. But I was just ecstatic because this was something, you know, we, we, we always need the extra money, but I wasn't anticipating this. So this is just such a big blessing I praise God for. 
And I praise God, you know, that in the midst of everything, in the midst of the, the Friday moment we were going through, that God provided these different things. I praise God for patient first, that it helped my husband so much. They're such an awesome place. And I praise God for the, these just these awesome little blessings and these unexpected things. I really do. I wanted to share with you today what I read in God's Word. I was reading uh, Psalm 22, verses 1 through 10. And I want you to really listen to this carefully. Read it carefully. And if you want to read the whole, almost the whole chapter, I, I would really highly recommend it. The first, the first part of it, you're going to see something very special in it. David writes, My God, my God, why hast thou forsaken me? Why art thou so far from helping me and from the words of my roaring? Oh my God, I cry in the daytime, but thou hearest not. And in the night season, and I'm not silent, but thou art holy, O thou that inhabitest the praises of Israel. Our fathers trusted in thee, they trusted, and thou didst deliver them. They cried unto thee and were delivered, they trusted in thee and were not confounded. Interesting, huh? You seeing anything interesting there? But I am a worm, and no man, a reproach of men, and despised of the people. All they that see me laugh to scorn. They shoot out the lip. They shake the head, saying, in other words, mocking. He trusted on the Lord that he would deliver him. Let him deliver him, seeing he delighted in him. But thou art he that took me out of the womb. Thou didst make me hope when I was upon my mother's breasts. I was cast upon thee from the womb. Thou art my God from my mother's belly. Now read the rest of it too, but you see throughout this, you see something very interesting here? You see some messianic references, some inferences, especially with verse 1. If you read Matthew 27, verse 46, Jesus cries out that very same thing. And when he cries that out, he's crying that out during a very severe moment from noon our time till 3 p.m., darkness covered the whole earth. This wasn't just in Jerusalem, but it was all over the whole earth. It's recorded in history. In 33 A.D., during this time that this happened, that darkness covered the whole earth, and this was God having to turn his back on his only son, because he was taking on the sins of the world, past, present, and future. He took on every sin. He took on yours. He took mine, the sins of everybody in the, in the whole world. And he did that out of his great love for us, out of his desire to restore us to the Father. And he cried at this moment, from the pain and the weight of it, this statement, but you know, God didn't forsake him. In the end, he gave his life for us, willingly sacrificed himself on that cross, and it was to pay for our sins. He became our blood-bought sacrifice. And three days later, in which we're going to celebrate tomorrow, he popped out of that grave like nobody's business and conquered sin and death through that. So we don't celebrate somebody dead. We celebrate somebody who's alive and is forevermore at the right hand of God the Father and waits at the door of everyone's heart asking to come in. And you have an opportunity, the opportunity of a lifetime that you don't want to miss out on. And that opportunity is to accept Christ as Savior. Let him into your heart. Come know the real meaning of Easter and what we celebrate, why we celebrate it. Come know the Messiah, Jesus. I urge all of that with you. And I urge all of you who are going through a Friday moment, a moment where you feel abandoned and you feel nobody cares, to know that Jesus does care about you. He cares about everything you go through. He knows what you're going through because he's been there too. 
and he wants to grant you answers. He wants to grant you answers. He wants to not only grant you answers, but he wants to make a way for you where there seems to be none, and all you have to do is accept it. Don't mind the ringtone. I urge all of you in this area, I really truly do, I urge all of you in this area to make that difference, to, to, to accept Christ as Savior and let the one who, who gave his life for you be the one to, set, to, to, get, to, to just set you free from sin. And if you're going through that Friday moment, to turn to him, whatever that moment is, Whatever you're going through, whatever loss you faced, no matter what it is, turn to him and let him heal that. And know that in the end, Sunday's coming. I'm going to repost what I, what I did yesterday about Sunday's coming, and I really pray that you hear it out and, 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 it, and let it touch your heart. I've got to get going. We have a few things to do today. we got to pick up his medication. And we're going to try to go see Superman versus Batman, Dawn of Justice. We're bo hey, we're a couple of comic book geeks here. And we're going to also attempt to see if we can go to um, a special Saturday service at Bethel Church. And if anybody's in the area that's watching this, please come to Bethel Church tonight at 6 p.m. It's an, a special Easter service. And they have a petting zoo. So come on out and bring the kids. You have a really awesome Saturday. And remember, Sunday is coming.